What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego. We live on the five, baby. This is my shit. This is my show. Live on the five. Five minutes past the hour. We talk about the hottest, the latest and greatest. We get it cooking. And they keep on looking. Smash the like button, everybody. We back. Yeah. We back. We got to wait for these notifications to go out. Let's get pushed to 100 likes. I'm just going to warm up the mic. We got to get to 100 likes. Man, I got a lot to talk about. And you don't want to miss this. We got to get this stream jumping. Smash the like button. We don't care about the dislikes because we everywhere. You ain't never there. It's over for old media. Try telling you. I didn't want to have to do this. But y'all made me. Can y'all hear me? If y'all can hear me, put your twos up in the comment section. Because I don't know if my chat's tripping. If you can hear me, type two. If you can hear me, type the number two. If you can hear me, type two. Let me refresh my screen because it's not moving. See, YouTube fixed the bugs. The people want to talk to the stream king. I can't see nothing. I bet you if I look for my phone, I'm going to see what it's hitting for. Hold on. Let me check for my phone. I can't see. I'm going to see what it's hitting for. Hold on. Let me check for my phone. I can't see. Yo, can you, y'all hear me? See, I didn't even see the twos. I, I, I'm starting to see it now. I refreshed it. Wow, that was just weird. See, that's what I'm saying. YouTube be on there. So you guys can hear me. Well, I mean, I hear it. I don't know what that that noise is, though, bro. Shout out to LJ. All right, we're going to warm up. Testing, one, two, testing, testing, testing. Make sure y'all smash the like button. The sooner y'all do that, the sooner I can get really started. But we live on the five. Old media is struggling out here in these streets. If it ain't one thing, then it's another. And then it's definitely the other. I mean, how many shots can you hold, dog? Like, old media keeps getting it wrong. They keep saying, we don't know what we talking about. New media. You know, I keep hearing, little black channel. But they keep getting it wrong. You guys tell me what's up. You guys tell me what's up. So, let me talk about some other quick boxing news before we get into the Fury Glove. Mike Coppinger with The Athletic. Saunders was the front runner to fight Canelo in the fall, DeZone's preferred choice. DeZone curse strikes again. DeZone's preferred choice was Saunders. Instead, Saunders said he'll focus on a tune-up bout in October before a big fight in December in hopes it's against Demetrius Andrade. Breaking, Billy Joe Saunders tells The Athletic he's withdrawing from consideration for the Canelo Alvarez fight on September 12th, citing the inability to properly train during the pandemic. Saunders had to deal, had to, had a deal to defend against Canelo. So another disowned fight fell apart, basically. And you say, I don't know boxing. No, somebody, listen, somebody going to explain this stuff to me. They say, I don't know what I'm talking about. They say, Ego, you don't know boxing. Somebody got to explain. Another fight falls apart. How does this keep happening? I, I come out with the zone curse. I say rematch room. I create these things. Glove gate 2.0. And look, Ego Stradamus strikes again. I mean... 
I told you. I told you that the zone would struggle post pandemic more so than maybe even some of the other companies. They're not aligned with the network. And more importantly, you have the highest price point. Your price point that you charge is wicked. The amount of money you charge per month is wicked. $20 a month and then all your fights is falling apart. Shout out to my man Ari, my man Jose. He said ego keeps winning. And I'm winning off of telling the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell me, just tell, okay. Tell me when old media gonna catch up. That That's all I want to know. Just let me know when old media gonna catch up to what we doing over here. Shout out to y'all for holding you down. Listen, get the likes up. I said likes or loot. My time ain't free. Listen, I, I'm sick of it. I'm, I'm, I'm getting to the point where I'm tired of being right. Every time you they go against old media goes against what we have to say. They say, "Oh, you're lying. Oh no, this is ridiculous." Right? You wait a little bit of time. Ego Shradamus strikes again. New media strikes again. Okay. So you tell me what it is, people. Who's winning this race? Now, so Billy Joe Saunders versus Canelo, that was the fight that was supposed to christen um, I guess the zone was launching in the UK. So that was supposed to be the first fight to touch down that they had to break that in. Billy Joe Saunders being a UK fighter and Canelo, you know, being a popular fighter. I, I thought Canelo picking him coming off a bad performance, you know, that wasn't really the deal, but it's it's better than nothing. It's better it's better than nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like I think the fight could have probably been an ugly fight. Because Canelo struggles with guys with foot speed. And I think Billy Joe Saunders would be, you know, moving a lot. So it, 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 their styles might not have jailed anyway. But now what are you going to do? Who, who like, literally, who is Canelo going to fight? I, remember I said Canelo's good. Canelo's a popular fighter. But he ain't the face of the boxing. Remember I said the face of boxing is Wilder. Canelo, is ever since he's joined this app, his numbers are dwindling down. The level of interest for Canelo fights are all dwindling down. I know I don't have a special set. I have big eyes, so I see a lot. But I don't have this special set of eyes where, you know, only I can see. The, this is not the movie with Roddy Roddy Piper, They Live, where you get a special set of glasses and you can see who's who's an alien and stuff. Bro, you see it. Canelo, bro, Canelo has not done a million in America only since the zone and if he has then why wouldn't the zone brag about it and release the american paid customer numbers only so who is he gonna fight shout out to my man ari he said he needs to fight charlo not gonna happen next but i agree with you everything we say you guys think we're just saying this new media ego's army right you think we're just saying this for I guess our health, and then when it comes to, like to the forefront, and it's dead right, then what? What they gotta say? So I don't even know who Canelo's gonna fight. It's probably gonna be some Ken and Ryu or some shit. Then he's go to going to Japan. He finna fight Ken and Ryu from Street Fighter. Adoken, a stop about the Rukin. He finna fight. He finna fight Ken and Ryu. He's finna fight Guile. In Detroit, Sonic Boom, doom, 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 doom. Sonic Boom, bro. He finna fight Dawson. Yoga Flame, Yoga Flame, bro. He finna fight Yoga Flame. He finna fight Dawson. Canelo finna fight Saget. Tiger, Tiger, bro. He 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 about to fight Saget. You ain't fighting Billy Joe Sanders now. You can't get disowned. Ah, damn, disowned. You got to do something, baby. $20 a month and the fight that you never got to announce and then the pandemic struck. Now that's falling apart, too. And we're supposed to hold on hope that Billy Joe Saunders and Demetrius Andre fight in December with no crowd, even though they were supposed to fight years ago. And Billy Joe Saunders failed a drug test. He said he had to use the nasal spray. He said he needed some flow nays. Now Canelo finna fight Saget. Tiger! Tiger! 
Tiger Upper, <laughs> bro, who is he going to fight? Man, I ain't playing. This is real, bro. Who's Triple G going to? Oh, I thought that was DAZN. Yeah, man, y'all better stop calling me when I'm in this mood. You see what I'm saying? So Canelo fighting Tiger on DAZN. Tiger. And then who who's Triple G going to fight? Huh? Huh? Triple G for the fight. Any any random black dude. Jimun Huntsu from Blood Diamond. Remember that? That's a good movie, y'all. Listen, that's a that's a good movie with Leonardo DiCaprio and Jimun Huntsu. That's who Triple G for the fight. They just want him to fight somebody black. So anybody that black doesn't got no chance, that's who Triple G fighting. Jimun Huntsu from Blood Diamond. You took everything. <laughs> He fighting Amistad. He fighting Blood Diamond. You took everything from me. He gonna fight G-Mon Hunt. Kamara Lee Simmons, ex-husband. He fighting him. Who Triple G gonna fight? They say I talk the most. I'm a gorilla, I'm a dog. I'm a dog, I'm a gorilla. Let me see what my man, let me tap in my man. Phenomenal Mexican. What is he saying? He said, you guys like this guy? He... He dehydrated his wife. Okay, you're out of control. This whole damn court is out of order, bro. <laughs> hey, DeZone, man. You got to do something, baby. What, 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 who Canelo going to fight? They said Billy Joe Saunders pulled himself out of the contention. That was the number one guy that they said he was going to fight. Then Triple G, we know he fighting, uh, what's your boy, Camille Szechuan. He fighting the Szechuan chicken. Bro, how are you going to charge 20 a month? And Eddie talking about pay-per-view? Scram. Bro, I'm a diehard boxing fan. You talking about the zone pay-per-view? Eddie Hearn said, he said, bro, he's Eddie Hearn. This not me. Eddie Hearn said that, <laughs> bro, he said that the zone should be 50 a month. Bitch, where? I dare you to raise the price to $50 a month. I fucking dare you. Listen, I'm boxing ego. Okay. I dare you to raise the price to $50 a month. I dare you to. Do what Eddie Hearn say if you want. Bro, who's Triple G going to fight? Ricky from Boys in the Hood? Ricky! Bro, why are Ricky running a straight line anyway? You, 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 you a dumbass running back. Wasn't he a running back? Didn't he get a scholarship? Am I, am I tripping? Recipes John Singleton. But in Boys in the Hood, Ricky was a star football player. I think he was a running back or a wide receiver, whatever the fuck. He played football. You better do some cross routes. Man, I'm on the cross route. Like, he said, right, that cross you like moss on the cross route. I'm the boss, ain't I? The words out the boss mouth. All about dollars if his problems bring the cups out. Like Lil Wayne said, bro, you probably get lost like moss on the cross route. Why did he run straight? The dude at the red Hyundai was ready to buck. The dude out the red Hyundai looked like new media. He was out the red Hyundai, and then Ricky, yeah, he ran a straight line. You better run some routes, boy. And we just getting warmed up. This the prequel. Daniel Mason, $10 super chat. He said, new media boss, that's something they got to deal with. Man, you got old media defensive and tripping over themselves. They blocking pictures. The day of the Geechee is over. Yeah. This is the day of the Geechee. You right. Shout out to my boy, Daniel Mason. Bro, how, Ricky, you about a dumbass football player, bro. You got clapped by uh, that double barrel running straight lines and you a football player. Bro, I don't even play football like that, but I, I, I'll do that Iverson shit. I'll cross. Bro, if it's your it's life and death, you better try to. I'll do like, like, remember Mike Epps when he was running from Baby D? <laughs> Bro, you you gotta hit that moving target, huh? I'll be like Michael Jackson doing Michael Jackson choreography. Do you remember the time when we fell in love? Do you remember girl? <laughs> you gonna have to hit a moving target. On the flow, you and me. A deal down, a deal day, a water bounder. <laughs> Where the picks? Where the picks be at? What's that mean? Next. Who next? Bro, I told you we control the narrative. So I don't know who Canelo's going to fight. 
Smash the like button. Canelo finna fight Gemini, man, like Will Smith. <laughs> they gonna have to clone Canelo because I don't know who he's gonna fight right now. So, old media is just taking hit after hit after hit. We haven't even got to the Fury stuff, which we will. Should I keep going? Can't I kick it? Can't I? All right, I'm going to kick it. Boom. Michael Hunter has announced that he is now a free agent after splitting from Eddie Hearn's matchroom. He said, quote, I like the company. They had to make a decision where they fully embraced me or let me go. And they decided to let him go. Another black fighter. Bro, you let Michael Hunter go. He look he looks solid. He be sparring with Andy Ruiz. I think Andy Ruiz work I think he worked with Andy Ruiz for both Joshua fights. You let him go. Eddie Hearn let Michael Hunter go. He truth be told, quiet is kept. Michael Hunter gave Usyk a tough fight. Probably his toughest fight. You know? Tony Bell you did pretty good too. But um Michael Hunter was definitely up there. He almost got stopped in the 12th round, but he he was definitely up there. He showed heart. He showed heart. Bro, what's that? Two strikes? How how, how many old media need? Huh? How many strikes? How many more strikes you need? Hmm? It's look, man, I told you the zone curse is real. So you let go of Michael Hunter. So top rank PBC probably gonna pick him up. He's a good fighter. He's an Olympian. I think he beat Andy Ruiz in the in the amateurs. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure I know my boxing. And now him and Andy Ruiz are cool. And I think they work together a lot. So um, that's a foolish decision. Meanwhile, Eddie Hearn, Edward Hearn, is making Dillian White versus Alexander Povetkin that nobody wants to see. Whatever you pay Povetkin, why, bro, listen. Why didn't you do, this is just ego matchmakers. Tell me how I did. If you're trying to come back and... You, you're going to come back with a blast for the zone. Why not make Dillian White versus Joseph Parker 2 co-feature a rematch? So that's one rematch. A rematch on the co-feature, Michael Hunter and Alexander Povetkin 2. So now you got two solid fights. You know, not world-breaking, shattering fights, but I think you have a selling point. You have Alexander Povetkin, who really lost to Michael Hunter, in my opinion. They lied and said it was a draw. in Saudi Arabia. So you could have them rematch. And then you could have Joseph Parker and Dillian White rematch, which at, at the best, it was a fun fight. You know, they hurt each other and all that. I think that's solid. And I think it's much better than Katie Taylor on the flyer by herself, possibly with no dance partner or Amanda Serrano. You know, that fight looks like, I don't know, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. And Dillian White versus Povetkin. Who ordered that? You, what, what's the Dr. Pepper just what the doctor ordered? Who ordered Povetkin versus Dillian White? And the problem in boxing we're seeing is there's a lot of guys, like I would say even Ryan Garcia, uh, Dillian White, who are so gung-ho for the, the better names, right? They're so gung-ho for the better names that they like to talk and they're, they're calling out everybody. So you got to feed them something that, that'll give the fans, you know, the reason to believe in, in the, you know, all of what they're saying. Like Ryan Garcia saying he wants to fight Tank every day and every other week, boom, boom, boom. So Golden Boy, why not give him a Fortuna? They said the fight didn't go through or something. You know, why is Lenata's fighting Fortuna, but Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia, their names were linked to those two and they're not fighting. You know, this is the zone curse. Why is Dillian White fighting Povetkin? Dillian White called Luis Ortiz an old man, but his last opponent, Maris Weck, was born in 79. Alexander Povetkin was born in 79. Luis Ortiz was born in 79. What, what What's the basis, bro? Then Billy Joe Saunders, he withdraws from the Canelo fight. He said he's not even in the you know discussions anymore. So I don't know who Canelo going to fight. We know Triple G ain't trying to fight nobody. He want to fight um, Bill Bellamy or whoever. He's trying to fight Camille Sesmeta. I mean, what what gives, bro? And, and you're going to charge 20 a month and think this is uplifting boxing? Okay. We'll see. New media. Then instead of, like I said, Michael Hunter, who's a great fighter, there's interesting, Matt. Why don't you give Michael... I see why Michael Hunter would probably want to go into free agency. You're not doing nothing with him. He ain't get. You have Usyk. He ain't getting Usyk rematch. He ain't getting uh, Dillian White fight, which would be a good fight. He ain't getting Philip Ergovich. And he can't even get a Povetkin rematch. Meanwhile, Philip Ergovich going to fight, 
Lurch or Frankenstein or somebody. Bogus. And then um, he's not getting Joshua. I mean, I see why he, he wanted to test the waters and see what he could do on his own. Cold world. He said dead word. <laughs> Y'all wilding, bro. Y'all wilding with these names. Uh, bro, the zone curse continues. I haven't heard many people talking about Joshua. I haven't seen many people talking about Triple G. The people they're linked to fight are horrible fights, you know, to the eye, the eye test or on paper. They're not really what we would presume to be great fights. Billy Joe Saunders pulled himself from the Canelo talks, so he said he's not even in the running. I mean, Ryan Garcia is mad at Golden Boy over pay. Amanda Serrano mad at Eddie Hearns for pay. Chocolatito Estrada, he said he ain't fighting Estrada in a rematch unless he get a million dollars or better for pay. Mikey Garcia had a one-fight deal. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., he walking around in high heels, so I don't know what's up with, with blood. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's up with him. Um, but he doing TikToks and shit. Your boy Chavez doing TikToks. So they said they he would be open to having Chavez back. I mean, what 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 gives? Like what who's being moved into the position? And that's what's I think that's what's losing some of the interest for boxing. There's so many entities and, and people in boxing and then they're like watering down, spreading it out with fights that don't need to happen. You see what I'm saying? Like so it becomes harder to follow. Who wants to see Jacobs is a beast of a fighter, but you got to put him in with fellow beasts. You know what I'm saying? You got to put him in with fellow beasts so we can see, you know, same thing with Andrade. He's probably a, Jacobs at least has had some chances to show himself and he's had names that would test him. Even on his own, he had Canelo and Chavez Jr. But Andre, who's he had, bro? Andre's a beast. Andre's a beast. Who who has he had an opportunity to gain new fans that real like Luke Peeler, Keeler, what's his name? I ain't a Keeler, but don't push me. What? This is Eddie Hearn and DeZone. This is their brainchild. This is pay-per-view is dead. This is the American takeover. I'm not seeing it, people. Canelo is perpetually getting smaller. Glovegate is bigger than Canelo right now. Canelo posted, I ain't seen nobody talking about it, nothing. I told you, new media, Death Row East, believe in it. We the wave, bro. We the wave. We make this stuff hot. We make it hot. You got to get our, our buy-in. And uh, like I said, I feel like DAZN has some chess pieces to do it, but if you want an omelet, you got to crack some eggs. You got to crack a few eggs. Tell me how you can make an eggless omelet, you know? If you want to make an omelet, you got to crack some eggs. They don't want to do that that UK style matchmaking that Eddie Hearn be doing. That don't work over here. Golden Boy, they don't even have the roster. You see what I'm, they don't have the depth on the bench or the roster. So, they just have to work what they can do, you know what I'm saying? But Ed, Eddie Hearn actually has some people like why why don't Dillian White if Philip Ergovich is supposed to be so nice? They said he was sparring Klitschko when he was 19 and sparring Wilder, and he's supposed to be raw. Why don't you make Dillian White fight him? Fuck the Dillian White Povetkin. Fight a, a, a younger uh, Philip Ergovich since he's supposed to be so nice. Put Michael Hunter, when you had him, with Philip Ergovich. That's why I called it. I, I'm the one. I'm the creator, the originator, the Dundada of rematch room. This is why. How many fucking opportunities does Povetkin need? You keep hitting old media with these Mike Tyson uppercuts. Bro, I'm on my stuff. I feel good. I feel great. Smash the like button. How many opportunities does Povetkin need? Like, what what does this even mean, bro? Even if Dillian White gets beat by Povetkin, you know, he's Dillian White should be the favorite, I guess. But even if he gets upset, then Povetkin's already lost at the top. He lost, he, he lost the opportunity to Wilder because he was cheating on drugs. He was on that meldonium. He was trying to get like Wolverine Weapon X, get that adamantium in him. So he lost at that. He lost that fight, and he lost the lawsuit to Wilder. Then Joshua stopped you. He did good in the first couple rounds, but the end result, you got stopped. You lost to Klitschko when he was on top. So what do, what do fights like this even do? And Derek, I'm not saying you can't fight no more. Like if you take a loss, but 
your whole rock like they just rematch room. They just keep putting like Sam Eggington and Ted Cheeseman. What do these fights mean? What does Alexander Povetkin keep getting top fight? And they have the audacity. Eddie Hearn got the audacity to call it fight camp and put it on pay per view. How is Dillian White Povetkin a forty year old? This is not Povetkin when he knocked out Hasim Rahman or something, or when he was put up against Klitschko. This is several Povetkins later. You know what I'm saying? And you're putting this on pay-per-view, and you think this is growing the sport? And Eddie Hearn made a comment about Bob Arum, and he said these ESPN shows are are bad, and they're not good for boxing, which I can agree with, like, again, like the watered-down match. But how is Eddie Hearn going to talk when – look at Fight Camp. Man, old media getting destroyed. It's just what it is. I told you, we the wave. We the wave. Smash the like button. I told you what I came to do. New media. Fan, and I think just around the world, fans are just tired of it. They just want to see what they want to see. They want to see Super Bowls, NBA playoffs, and finals. You know what I'm saying? Like, it has to lead to something at some point. People lose interest. You, you, it's, it's weird that they let Michael Hunter go, bro. It's weird. It's, it's weird that who's Canelo going to fight? Like, honestly, I, I'm really asking that. I'm not even trying to be funny. Billy Joe Saunders said he ain't fighting Canelo next. He need a tune-up. Triple G said he ain't fighting Canelo next. He need a tune-up. Who is Canelo going to fight? They never mention Andrade. They act like Andrade's fucking Patrick Swayze and Ghost. I, Henry VIII, I am. Henry VIII, I am. Bro, they act like he Patrick Swayze. Ditto looking ass. Like, they just act like Willie Lopez killed Patrick Swayze character, and he just a ghost, and nobody could see him except for Whoopi and shit. They, that's that's how they treat Andre. This is American Olympian, and they just act like he he fucking dropped dead Fred or some shit. Demetrius dropped dead Fred Andre because they motherfuckers only the little girls see him. Nobody else could see this imaginary friend. Imagine this is drop dead Fred apparently. This is Bruce Willis in the Sixth Sense. I see dead people walking around like regular people, bro. They just act like Andre's a fucking. Casper, a myth, a ghost. Where's Andre's fight? And it's wrong for the fighter because Andre is nice. He should be getting all the top fight. Canelo, Triple G, all that. All that. Get a good lawyer. Warren and MTK going to be coming for your ass. Okay. Block him. <laughs> okay. Bro, we're going to get to Fury Glove. I ain't even talked about that yet. Listen. What's up with old media, bro? Didn't I tell you what was happening? Didn't I tell you? Ego Stradamus. No, don't time him out. Block him. He, there's no time out five minute. No time out. Ha <laughs> ha. See you later. Block him. Yeah. So anyway, it's it's looking ugly for old media. It's just one thing after another. One thing after another. And it's crazy. So what what is DAZN's next big fight for $20 a month? Javier Fortuna Lenadas. That's cool. That's a solid fight, but that's not no blockbuster. I personally like Javier Fortuna, and I've always thought Lenatus was pretty nice too. He did. He don't do good under pressure, you know. Oh, let's talk about this. Ryan Garcia and um, Luke Campbell. That's another fight. Listen, that that will be a step up for Ryan Garcia to show a little bit more of what he's made of. I would be impressed if Ryan could knock out Luke Campbell since Lenatus and Lomachenko didn't. So that would be, you know, that would be a step in the right direction. But I don't think that's a huge fight. It's just a step in the right direction. Listen, Tyson Fury Glovegate came about. And I got a special announcement at the end of this video. So stay tuned to the end or leave and come back if you got to get something to eat. But make sure you're here for the end. I got a special announcement. Smash the like button. I got a special announcement. And I, I have to do it at the end. Let's get the likes over 200, people. Likes over 200 but my thing is this 
Ryan Garcia, th this is the old media tactic, and I want you guys to be well aware of it. This is the old media tactic. Everybody is talking about Tyson Fury Glovegate. We started that, right? We the wave, we the drip. And that's the hottest thing. Old media refuses to talk about it. That's fine, because I'm getting a lot of views doing it, you know, and I'm sure other, other people that are doing it, they're getting traction too. People are interested in the topic, right? So, more for me. I don't care. But the thing is this. Notice this pattern. When new media, when new media get this hot, we get these the hot topics that need investigation and need to be looked into, and it makes people sweat because people know at the end of the day what it really is. All these weird things begin to happen seemingly out of nowhere. It's like, what? Huh? How did that happen? The video that I put up, the video I put up, the original Glovegate 2.0 that kicked it off for every channel that you see, because I've been sitting on these pictures for months, right? And that, that leads me to my next thing. But that original Glovegate 2.0 video, right? That me and my, my mans discovered and brought to my attention. And then we've been researching it ever since for months, right? Before the video, because I don't, you know, I get my ducks in a row. I don't just put something out. I don't, you know, I'm not here to try to put smut on somebody's name if I don't really believe it. Or I have questions, put it that way. I have questions about Fury's um, gloves. But after that initial video, right? That video has been up for a couple of days. And then Marce uh, Marcellus Wilder came out with saying, my brother has a dent in his head off of the fight and won't, won't, won't. Now, all of a sudden, the photos are blocked. Like, you can't access them anymore. Do you understand what I'm saying? This shit is so real, and it, and it makes people so, un, like, insecure that now the photos from the original video that started it all cannot be found. All of a sudden... Well, actually, I started my live stream and then I talked about it and did a video, right? Now it cannot be found. Hold on. Let me see. Let me let me find the original video. Just so you guys know. Now all of a sudden. Look. Here's the video, y'all. So that's the original video. I sourced out the photographer's photos so he got the credit for, you know, in case someone wants to buy his photos or whatever. Look at that. Let me punch in. Look. The gallery is private and not cannot be seen. Now, all of a sudden, these photos. Listen, I told you, I have text. I have all everything saved. So don't fret. Don't worry. So you tell me, new media, you tell me. I've been researching this with my mans behind the scene before I ever presented it to the public. Because, I, you know, I want to be sure I don't, I, you know. I want to, I, if I really have a question, I really have a question and I wanted to be sure. So we looked at thousands of pictures. We did a real like police work, like a real investigation, right? A real investigation. And then that was well before. And I have proof of that. I have it in my phone. I have proof of that, that this was like behind the scenes. We were investigating these photos to, to determine like, hey, man, is it just the lighting? Does it look weird? And then we kept doing it. And then I finally put the video out because I'm like, I'm, I'm done. I, I can't justify these pictures. Right? Days later, a day later, Marcellus Wilder comes out and says his piece. That's by design, bro. That's that, The floodgate was already open. New media, we paved the way. Now you see people really starting to patch this together and like look at it and then Tyson Fury had a half-assed one minute video saying I'm innocent ah you know British you know 19 stone 
Well, he keep bragging about how much he weigh. Like, that's nothing to do with boxing. It don't matter if you how much you weigh. There's got like you weighing that doesn't mean you're the bigger puncher. Like Luis Ortiz undoubtedly weighed less than Tyson Fury, but he hits harder than Fury. We could see that. Look at it, look at how opponents react to his precision punching versus Tyson Fury's whole career. You know? Days later, now the photo gallery. Days later, now the photo gallery is blocked where you can't find it. What a coincidence, people. What a quinky dink. What a coincidence. But stay tuned to the end of this stream because I have a special announcement. And and let me keep going with the photo gallery being blocked. It's blocked for whatever reason. I have screen recordings. Other people have screen recordings. We have screenshots. The pictures are all around the internet. Privating, you're too late. You're too late. This whole this whole investigation, this whole case, a lot of it was done before it was brought to the public. The question, you know. So behind the scenes, there's other people that have the same information that I have or whoever has. Like it's it's already been passed off. It's already been passed off. So let, let's say let's say hypothetically I got paid off and and I don't want to talk about it anymore. There's already several other people that have the same information. Do you understand what I mean? So it's it's not this is it's almost like a virus or something. This is not just one person who has these questions. This is not just one person with the data. This is not one person who wants answers. And if you're a boxing fan, especially post George Floyd, and I got to keep prefacing that because I believe race plays a part in some of what happens in boxing, not everything and not for all people, but there are people who, who operate on that temperament. Like for example, the WBC, let's really cook. Let's talk. Let's really cook. Let's talk. Shooters are doing a hell of a job. Block all of them. I, I don't care what they're talking about when they hate donate. They not finna disrupt what I'm doing. And I got a oh, I got a special announcement. I almost slipped and said it. I got a special announcement. Stay tuned to the end of the video. Shooters, just just keep clipping them. We got this. Listen, we should be over 200 likes. These Fury gloves, even if you thought that they were like nothing was wrong with them, you still haven't answered the question. So I present this to you. All the old media people that are saying, oh, no foul play, bullshit, like Fury, WBC back in Fury. What have they really said to pacify us that what we believe and what we're seeing with our own eyes doesn't exist? Shout out to my man Mike from Boston. If you're saying that about me now, stay tuned. But wait, there's more to the end of this video because I've been doing real police work. I've been doing real detective work and the information is out. We have it in safes. It's, bro, it's new media. So stay tuned to the end. If you think this was Forensic Files Ego before, then I, but wait, there's more. Wait till the end of this video for my special announcement. Listen, you're not going to, old media is not going to be able to just keep sweeping it under the rug. Post George Floyd, that's a dub. People should be disgusted with the idea or the thought of something like this going on in boxing. Certainly enough to the point where they should want to investigate. This is a person, this is a man or a woman or whoever's competing, and we are talking about people's lives. The ability for you to get back to your kids and your family or your parents or your spouse or your partner, you know, whatever. So I don't take, I, t I take that absolutely serious. I understand gambling and money and sports bets and all this stuff, we, but we, we can't let that ride, bro. We can't let that ride. We can't let that ride. This need to be investigated. What has the WBC said? Bro, when is the PBC coming out with their own belts? Let's just do it that way. Let's just everybody come out with their own belts because everyone keeps coming out with their own rules. So PBC, if you ever get this, please just make your own belt. I know this was a theory kicked around. Top rank, make your own belt. PBC, make your own belt. 
Eddie Hearn make your own belt. Bro, this is going to escalate and keep escalating. We are not going to forget about this. Everybody make your own belt because it's getting to the point where it's getting funky, y'all, because people keep making up their own rules as they go. We can't stand for that, bro. We, we spent so much time, so much of our hard-earned dollars and change hoping the sport would change. But they playing games and it still remains the same. Oh, my God. This, this is like a battle rap to me. They still playing games and it remains the same. The WBC. Hold on. See, I didn't want to have to do this, but y'all made me. <laughs> I didn't want to have to do this. See, it would be wonderful if everybody could just be fair, be real. But not everyone lives by the same code. But we do on this side new media so i didn't want to have to do this but y'all made me all right let me find it tell me if this is fair to take a waste. listen right there the this is suleiman uh i saw the hand wraps i saw specters in both fights both wilder and fury dressing room one was in California, the, the other one was in Nevada. In both uh, cases, there were at least uh, three inspectors on each uh, address. Hey, Block Papa, get him to fuck out my chat right now. Thank you. Uh, I was there before and after the fight. Uh, I saw the hand wraps. I saw them with the gloves on. I was in the ring when they came into the ring. And I was sitting right there during the fight. At no moment in either fight I saw anything that would look uh, suspicious whatsoever. Uh, after the fight, they take off the gloves. They're handed to the commission. Uh, it is just something that uh, is very uh, sad because uh, to try to take away something from a huge victory, one of the greatest nights of the sport, uh, see, I can't even listen to this right now. He said this is sad to take away from a huge victory. How the fuck is it sad because people have questions because their eyes do not deceive them and there's a dent in Tyson Fury's glove? And he start he's saying this interview, the WBC Mauricio Suleiman, bro, and he's saying that, oh, it's sad and I don't understand it. What don't you understand? Block Guido. Block them. B shooters, do, do these dudes greasy. Yeah, block them. What don't you understand? They only here to cause distractions. What what doesn't Suleiman understand? How is this hard to understand that everybody else's glove, whether it's horsehair, paffin, everlast, they don't seem to be imploding. They don't seem to be concaved. And he's talking about, oh, I don't understand. I don't see what you guys are talking about. We're no need for an investigation. This is an open and shut case in one day. In one day, how how is it open? How you how you how you feel and, and like really do a good job investigate? Like so, you think a cop, if 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 a mom lost her son and he got shot in a drive by some gang stuff, and they say, hey, we're gonna find your son killer, and they came back to it. This was on Monday. They came back to her Tuesday morning and said, oh, we don't know who did it. You know, they got away. Like how how hard could you have looked in one day? Probably not even a full day. Man, it's getting ugly. Uh, to try to put a, a blemish on that uh, event is so irresponsible. This man just said to try to put a blemish on Tyson Fury's greatness and his victory is irresponsible. Like we did it. Like, so if we have questions about his glove, it's our fault that we have questions about his glove. Like we, to we told Tyson Fury to have some gloves that were sunk in, that looked worn, that looked broken in. He said it's irresponsible. What's irresponsible is that you don't want to follow up with this. That's what's irresponsible. Man. I'm so stupid that it should not be even giving the least consideration. He said it's so stupid that you shouldn't even consider it. Well, that's exactly what you did. You didn't consider it. You just said, nope, no way, not my fury. Bro, I am from the Bay. I have never seen a, a, anybody who's anybody who's been on crack, like any crackhead. The money keep coming in. 
I have not seen anybody. That, and that's a big boy one, but I got stuff to say. I have not ever seen a crackhead get this much um, benefit of the doubt. I haven't seen it, me personally. Like somebody who has all this stuff and done all these drugs and all this stuff in their career and failed drug tests and done crack and coke and dope and smoke and smack and all that. And they get every benefit of the doubt. It must be great to be a Caucasian complexion for the protection Karen in this boxing game where you could just do anything lawless. You Jesse James, you Dillinger, you Al Capone, and you could just do whatever you want. And we can't even question it. Those days are over, bro. Those days are over. Bro, the man says, he says we shouldn't even consider it. This shouldn't we we shouldn't even be looking at this. And I know y'all better give my man that just sent a hundred dollar super chat. And everybody, look, the money keep coming in. I must be the greatest. All these super chats, y'all better just start clapping. Because I'm doing this for boxing, bro. I risk it all. I'm on the front line every single time. I got a special announcement after this video. The money keep coming in. Put your put your hands together and get them clap emojis going and show love to these people. Because, bro, I'm proving it time and time again, bro. We are the we are the battery. We are the engine. We run boxing. Look at this. That people still sweating credential. Listen, I'm professional. I got years of video video experience videography editing experience i could have someone's way in looking cool pretty sharp nice lenses nice cameras but i don't need that i don't have a problem covering anyone's fight i just want to see even fight but you're not going to hold no credential over my head where i now all of a sudden i gotta i gotta be a slave and i, I can't have an opinion on nothing because that's fine you cover your own fight then bro I'm big enough to do it. I'm that thorough. Plus, I know my own flow is foolish. They don't want to play that game with me. They don't want to play that game. Look, we doing $100 super chats, bro. You think I need anybody's credential? Listen, do you think I need anybody? I, I, I'm at home. No overhead. No cost. And I'm doing it for boxing. It's not even about the money. But the money is nice. But it's not even about that. It's about integrity for the sport of boxing. And Mauricio Suleiman telling me, and every every one of you that you're stupid if you're even considering this to be something that could be real we're stupid but one thing you have not done sir one thing is explain why his glove looks the way it does you could say oh i was in the dressing room which we have footage i didn't see you in the dressing room he said he was in the dressing room and he watched it first of all sir you're one person. Mauricio Suleiman is one man. So how are you going to be in Fury's dressing room knowing everything that's going on and be in Wilder's dressing room knowing everything that's going on all at once? Please tell me how that's doable. Unless you have like those baby monitors that parents have for their kids. How can you be how can you be everywhere all the time? How can you see what's going on in Wilder's room and and in Tyson Fury's dressing room? And he's saying we're stupid. Oh, OK, I got you. If you believe that you're stupid, he also said, he also said he watched everything he was in the ring. How you watch a man who wore a cape? Ain't nobody talked about this point till me. He wore a cape with oversized arm sleeves. He sat down, then he stood up, and you still, as he's standing with his long arms, you still couldn't see because he got his tailor to make the arm sleeves longer than his gloves. Exhibit A. So how did you see everything? What is he doing with his hand? Bro, what is he doing? What, what's in his hand? We don't know. I know people that can sit still and not look like they're fidgeting and they know how to pick locks. They could pick handcuffs and stuff like that. So how do I know what he's doing if his hands aren't even visible at any point? And there's points where he lifted one glove, but it's really his lead hand glove. And the thing is, he showed it as minimal as possible. He wasn't just out there with regular with the glove out exposed the whole time, which looks fishy. How do you know what he was doing? You were in the ring. How do you know what he's doing right now? And we he wearing a cape. And even when the cape is even if it's not on, you can't even see his arms, bro. You can't see his arms. I'm going to show you. And Mauricio Suleiman said, we stupid? Okay, we're going to see. Bro, PBC, come out with your own belt. 
Top rank, come out your own belt. Uh, the zone, meet rematch room, fight camp, anybody, come out with your own belt, bro. Everybody should do that because the sanctioning bodies, you 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 don't even want to investigate. And how come here? Boom, we got action. I did the video. Look, he said he's seen everything that was going on. Look, how do you know what Tyson Fury's doing if he's putting a shank or you know anything in his glove? Or, or whatever, when you can't even see his glove because he has oversized arms, like he he got this cloak on. H how do you know what he's doing? That's all I need to know. Look, I was, I, I pinched in. I I, I got in. I got in tight for y'all. Look, that's that's the bottom of his glove. I mean, that's that's where his glove would supposed to be out. But he has this oversized ass arm sleeves. What? How can you tell what he's doing right now? Please let me know. That's his. That's where it, the white part should all be cut off. Everything below that in his glove would be visible. But he has this oversized sleeve and you can't tell what's going on because his whole thing is covered. His whole his whole glove is covered. This is his walkout. And listen, if you're a fan, you just see him on the throne and music playing in the crowd. Like, ah. So we're, we're just thinking like, oh, it's a ring entrance. It's elaborate. Of course. But you don't know what someone's doing. Like, there's a reason why if you go to prison or whatever, they strip you naked to make sure you don't have no contraband. Because if you have full clothes on, you can have a shank on you. You know, you can have an ice pick. You have something from the laundry room that nobody knows what you have. And I'm not saying he had a shank per se, but what if he had little small pellets or, you know, anything, flat washers or something and he's sliding in his glove. We, or we don't know. That's that's my whole point. We don't. We wouldn't know. So how's Mauricio Suleiman know so much? To the point where he's gonna um, vouch for it. Such a weird position for the WBC to constantly jump in. Oh, Alejandra Jimenez, she's innocent. Canelo's innocent. Tyson Fury's innocent. How do you know? If you're with the WBC and you're doing WBC duties, how you know what people are doing in their spare time? Did you know that Luis Ortiz was going to fail a drug test when Wilder was supposed to fight him at the Barclays? Or did you find out, like everyone else, when Vada hit you up? If you know so much, then you should know that Gerald Miller was finna cheat and, you know, prevent prevent him from cheating. You see what I'm saying? Like, people always want to act like they knew. Like, we, like we knew. We knew. How is how is Suleiman even taking a stand? You don't know what pe what fighters are doing in their camp. Bro, I've been to several boxing gyms. And it's just me and the fighters and the trainer in there. It ain't Suleiman and sanctioning bodies. So people could be stealing, stealing, you know, some of them sell stuff. They could be stealing out registers. Suleiman wasn't there. WBA wasn't there. The IBF wasn't there. How you know what people are doing in their private lives, bro? Same. Let me get this $100 super chat. Shout out to y'all for super chatting heavy. It's, it's been crazy, bro. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do with all these super chats? I'm gonna build a studio. I'm gonna build a studio. I'm not gonna give you all the details, but I'm gonna build a studio. I'm gonna get some fly new equipment. I'm gonna get a new computer. I'm gonna I'm gonna build a studio. I'm, I'm I might even do what's that Kickstarter? I might even do something like that. Do a Kickstarter so we could build a studio. I might build like a new media Eagles Army boxing studio. I promise. And if y'all want to contribute, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna have to figure out the logistics. Bro, we taking this live, bro. We control boxing. It is what it is. We the people. I'm the people's champ, man. Yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna build a studio, bro. We gonna take this up a notch. We the streets. I'm a, I'm gonna take this up a notch. We we gonna make you know. I don't I don't know. I don't want to say too much because I motherfuckers. I, I'm so influential in the game that they're gonna steal the ideas or try to so. I'm I'm a I'm a figure away. I'm a, I'm a making making a band. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do something like that. Making a band where Yeah. I'm gonna build a studio. Watch. Keep saying it is dough, you know, because there's strength in numbers. I'm gonna build a studio. We're gonna see. Bro, I'm gonna show you the powers in the people. I'm a young entrepreneur. I promise you. I no matter what, I always get to my end my end game and my end result. Shout out to Ricky Williams, my guy, hundred dollar super chat, salute, Eagles Army Love. 
the love is just crazy. I'll pay for the stream. I said Fury was a cheat in February. They could have killed that man in the ring to promote the great white hype. Bars. Shout out. I mean, this is the name of the game. It's like you can't beat him. You know, you find out a way to try to beat him. Even if it at all costs. At all costs. Man, that's foul, bro. That's foul. That's wrong. You, If you can't beat someone naturally, then you just can't beat him. That's okay. You know, but you... We talking about something different. We talking about something different. You talking about someone's life and stuff. We we how can post George Floyd? How can we take this lightly? Please let me know this. Yeah, I seen Christian Hammer fight. How could post George Floyd? How could we take things like this lightly? And the funny thing is, if this was anybody, I would be doing the same thing. Right is right, wrong is wrong. See, people are quick to jump down Gerald Big Baby Miller's throat for failing drug tests and, and endangering his opponents, Joshua, Jerry Forrest. But now they don't have, when it's a complexion for the protection, when it's somebody else, now you don't care? Now you don't have no words for that? Nah, we're we going to see. WBC said no investigation needed. But then when there's a Mexican fighter like Alejandra Jimenez, and she actually, f listen to what I am saying, people. Bro, the buck stops here. I promise you that. The buck stops here. The WBC is founded in Mexico. Tell me if this is a good look. They are founded in Mexico. They have offices in Mexico. They just did a recent WBC convention in Mexico, right? This is all fact. There is a fighter of Hispanic Mexican descent Alejandra Jimenez, she failed a drug test, I believe, on January 10th of this year in a controversial win where they gave her the belt versus Franchon Cruz Discern. She submitted her A sample. It came back dirty before a week before it came back dirty. And I have it documented in that video. The WBC wrote this long novel defending Alejandra Jimenez, Hispanic Mexican descent. That's her. Uh, and this is important. They said, why would you guys do this? You guys are saying she's a man. You guys are saying she's on drugs. You guys are saying she's a drug cheat. Who cares? Stop shaming her. Stop judging her appearance. I've known her for seven years and this is wrong. And you guys are all, you know, silly. And you guys are won't, 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 won't. They like they the WBC reamed us, reamed us. Or not us, but I guess fans that were saying she was a man and and on drugs because she was she was kind of type diesel, right? They did everything in their power for a fighter of Mexican Hispanic Mexican descent to protect her and, and make sure she wasn't like slaughtered in the public for winning or you know she wasn't attached to no BS that came back to bite them in the. Uh, because a week later, she failed her drug test or the results came back for her failed drug test. And January 24th, somewhere, they got notified from VADA she failed a drug test. Do you understand it took months upon months for the WBC to give this girl, Franchon Cruz, to earn her belt back? Whereas the WBO, I think it was, they in March gave Franchon Cruz to earn her belt back saying, hey, she didn't beat you fair and square because she failed a drug test for that particular fight, meaning she was on something. In March, the WBC came out. That's my birthday month. Shout out to the Pisces. I'm an Aries, but shout out to the, and, I, and I'm an Aries, so you know I'm stubborn. Give me over 300 likes. You know I'm stubborn. In March, after the WBO or whatever, gave Cruz Desern her belt back because they said, hey, she was on drugs. That's against the rules. She hasn't successfully appealed. It's over. Here's your belt back, champ. The WBC around that same, they were pressured. People were like, where's the WBC in all of this? Around that same time in March, the WBC said, we are going to conduct our own investigation on Alejandro Jimenez. And, and they wrote a statement and it kept saying that they were going to do their own investigation on her. Why would the WBC have to do an investigation on a Mexican-American young lady that failed a drug test I believe the A and B sample. And meanwhile, the black fighter, Franchon Cruz Desern, has to just wait, 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 and wonder if she's going to get her belt back. 
Why are you going out of your way, WBC, for a Mexican-American lady who was found to be cheating and you are dragging your feet to give the African-American fighter, Franchon Cruz Desern, her belt back? Where's the logic in that? But then when Wilder's brother, on top of new media, who really got this off and cracking, have questions about Fury's glove, a Caucasian British fighter, shout out to Ronnie Brown, and the impressions and the indentures and the marks and the defining shape of Tyson Fury's glove, you say, nope, one day later, no investigation. It's an open and shut case and if you think that people post george floyd are going to just be okay with this and keep playing this game then i think the wbc and boxing has another thing coming because we're coming nobody is playing this game you went to bat for alejandra jimenez you struck out she's a cheater i don't care if you've known her seven years i don't care if you've known her a decade she failed a drug test how do you have words for Gerald Big Baby Miller and say, oh, he's a cheat and do, do, do. But because you have a personal relationship with the Mexican-American or whatever, Alejandra Jimenez, and you've known her. Now, all of a sudden, you say you're doing your own investigation. What more do you need to investigate other than she failed her drug test? Got to go, got to go. <laughs> you failed a drug test. What, what, what needs to be investigated? Vada conducted a drug test. And she failed and she has a certain a lot of time to appeal. And if you don't appeal by that and, and tell the WBC or whatever sanctioning body uh, a plausible, realistic, approved reason that qualifies why you had these banned substances in your system, then it should be in a discussion. So with that being said, how come Deontay Wilder is not being afforded? How come he's not being afforded a fair trial and all that? Let's keep going. This is right. So I didn't the other. Listen. When you commit a crime. Listen. Even if it's. With AK and Barack on the zone. This is a recent. And this is his response. This is a recent interview from the WBC. Days ago, because this is right around Glovegate time. So Glovegate had already been a thing. And when Gerald Miller failed a drug test, this is him speaking on Gerald Miller. Listen. Response. What substance? What levels? And then. So hold on, let me find it. Do a thorough investigation. Do a thorough investigation. Listen. When you commit a crime, even if it's murder. When you commit a crime, even if it's murder. You have a trial. You have a trial. In which you can. Uh, put your case forward. You have a trial in which you can. Bro, he just said, even if you committed murder, you get to present your facts. You have a trial, a thorough investigation, so you can tell your side of the story. Wilder, his brother came out. There's dent pictures of Wilder's head, and Team Wilder or the Wilder family or New Media or whatever. There's no fair trial. There's no investigation. You say we're stupid. We're stupid for even surmising that a cheater would cheat again. Somebody who cheated in the Christian Hammer fight. Somebody who has glove gate one with the floppy glumby, gumby gloves. Right. Somebody who failed a drug test. You failed with Nandrolone. And then your cover got blown because Martin Carefoot later came out and said he didn't even, you know, he didn't even really sell them the wild boar meat. And we don't even know where Martin Carefoot's at. Can somebody send him a postcard? Because I don't even know where he's even been right now. So what are we talking about? Where is Wilder's due process? WBC? We're not playing games anymore. We want to see fair boxing on an even playing field. So to me, PBC, top rank, all y'all make your own belt. Because the, the, let's just do it like gang shit. Just click up with whatever gang you, you align with or whatever. Let's just do it like that. If everyone's going to just be making their own rules, let's just let's just click up. You know, new media over here, old media over there. If people just want to make up their own rules, let's just all click up. But what I'm saying is, like, this stuff ain't going down, bro. This is our sport. We want a clean sport. We want a fair sport. I would do this for anybody. 
anybody, white, black, Japanese, I don't care, Mexican, whatever. Wrong is wrong, right is right. We coming. Expect us. So, once again, all the people who are attempting to exonerate Tyson Fury, they haven't said anything. Like, what, what, have, what, have, what have they said to clear, to explain his glove? Name one thing. And I got an announcement at the end of this video. What have they said? Man, we, we, got, a, we got like three channel members on this stream. Shout out to y'all. I told you the army green getting thick. Get the claps up for the channel members. What name name a valid reason why his gloves look so worn? Bro, name a valid reason. I'm I, listen, I'm ready. Listen, I'm ready for whatever. Come on. Name a reason why his gloves look like worn and broken in and don't look brand new. Look. This is a properly this is what Mauricio Suleiman is saying. Hey, don't worry about it. You're stupid if you have questions about that. Bro, look at his glove. Why when have you seen <laughs> Bro? We're not we're not tolerating this. Everybody in the chat put George Floyd. Yeah, I feel like I feel like rest in peace, George Floyd. Post George Floyd era, we're not tolerating this. We're not tolerating no Karen type of behavior, bro. You got to keep it even, Steven. When somebody's glove look like that, like show me the fight. I'm like Jerry Maguire. Show me the money. Like show me the fight. Where it, where it's depressed in, it looked like somebody took the top of the glove and and stapled it. Who who glove looked like that? Green pepper, green bell pepper glove, bro. Bro, listen. This is this is bigger than old media. This is bigger than boxing. Yeah, everybody type George Floyd. We ain't done. Rest in peace to George Floyd. That Karen stuff, all that is dead. I'm trying. If we leading the charge, yeah. Everybody keep. Shout out to LJ from Australia. Shout out to my my number one. Yeah. We're not. We, we just want everything even. I don't care who. See, old media is saying, oh, you're just mad your boy lost. I, I, I've watched fighters get knocked out in front of me. You know what I'm saying? Covering their fights and stuff. A lot of fighters get knocked out. It, this is Ain't nobody going to do a two-hour, three-hour stream and the level of investigation that I've done. Special announcement after this video. There's no one that's going to do that just for the sake of doing it this ain't clickbait or whatever this ain't just me bumping my gums for views this is what i feel in my heart and for the wbc it's it's criminal it's criminal for you to to hear what people are saying and pretend that we're the jackasses because it doesn't look right to us if it is right well okay here, here's an here's an example why doesn't the wbc or frank warren videotape those gloves so wherever the hell they are right now because you guys said the commission takes the gloves after the fight the fight was just in february and then in march we all locked down for the the quarantine so take a live do a live stream go to the insac offices or wherever this is the glove is allegedly housed pull them out and start pushing them in <laughs> And show us on tape those those gloves that were just from a couple months ago, right? And show us the condition that they're in. And bring in a test pair of regular Paffin, the same brand, and tell me and show and compare the contrast. Put one on the scale, put the other on the scale. Why why won't they even show the glove? You said that that an insect has it, or whoever has it, show us the glove. And if you've redistributed padding or something, we're gonna tell if it looks different than the original glove <laughs> but they don't want to do the easiest of things you know somehow the photographer's web page and gallery gets blocked hmm these videos are going viral mm -mm -mm. i got a special announcement stay tuned to the end of this one smash the like button if y'all want some more glove talk bro you know how battle rap they got gun bars man i got glove bars listen I'm Gennady Glovekin, bro. 
Bars. I got I got glove bars. 350 likes ASAP. We already made almost close to $200, so the money ain't the problem. The money ain't it. Y'all got to get them likes up, though. We got too many people. The haters mad. I get it. I would hate, too, because old media getting crushed. But listen, actually, I wouldn't hate because I'm not a hater. 350 likes. If y'all want some more glove talk, I'm the king of the glove talk. Tyson Fury got these damn hamburger helper gloves and shit. His glove made by fucking Trojan. Trojan man. He got some rib Trojan condom glove and shit. And, and I'm not supposed to have questions. Okay. Wait till this. Listen, give me the 350 likes. I got something. It's queued up right now. 350 likes. Y'all want to see some work? I got the work. And I got a special announcement coming soon. So WBC enjoy this all y'all all y'all tell me i don't have cause for having concerns okay they're not going to just say dismiss everything and, and this is going to blow away like the golden boy emails we, we just supposed to forget about we ain't forgetting about nothing post george floyd yeah book it yeah we're not forgetting about nothing we know remember them golden boy emails Remember what you said, pay-per-view's dead. We remember all that old media shit. Push me to 350 likes. I got to, bro. Just get to 350. If you're in the chat, you're just in the way. If you haven't hit the like button. Let me get to the money. I'm going to get to some more money. Salute Ego. And I'm giving a hell yeah. Yeah. I appreciate it. Donald Simpson, regular. Look. 350 likes. I'm going to push the goddamn button. I'm going to push the button. Give me 350. Yeah, that's that's a good number. Yeah, that, that's cool. 350. Listen. Likes or loot. Y'all going to give me one of them. I'm going to either get some super chats because my time is money. I'm going to get some more super chats. You see the $100. The $100 still up there. It's still looking pretty. I'm money ego. Likes or loot. You going to give me some loot or you going to give me some likes. But y'all paying for these streams because I'm too... I'm doing all the work. This is I'm doing real life police work, real life detective work. It don't matter if nobody else wants to see it. It don't matter if I don't care if one person appreciate it. Me and my man's is collaborating and reviewing thousands of photos, people, for the integrity of boxing and, and all that for people to just dismiss it like the WBC because they don't want to deal with it. They don't want to, you know, be on bad terms with somebody or they don't want to whatever so okay but we doing what's right for boxing and and if as long as i continue to do that in my heart what i know is right listen we all make more money if we do what's right that's i, I believe that you know i'm not trying to i'm not even super religious and stuff i have belief but i believe if you do what's right you get what, what you got coming to even if you do bad you're gonna get what you got coming to you yeah shout out to mr rufus rufus with the two dollar super chat the money coming in But if you do what's right, the people going to, you know, respect it. You see it. Look look how many super chats we get. Look 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 at the video views on the on the subject. We just we just making a killing and I appreciate each and every one of you, but I'm really doing detective work. And my man Phenomenal Mexican, he says, "Got you on both." That's my guy. Shout out to LJ. She's lazy. She ain't hit the like button. LJ hit the like, girl. Sorry, I be yelling at LJ sometimes. Push the goddamn button. All right, we close. That's good. Just keep hitting the like. I got y'all. Tell me this looks normal. When you guys are ready, just say ready. Ready. Say all y'all do is type ready. I got to make sure y'all paying attention. You're not you're not driving, you're pulled over to the side. Yeah. Shout out to Jay. I like that. Head to the 500 likes. Bro. When you guys are ready, just say ready. Yeah, Ego Valley in here. When y'all ready to see the oh my god. <laughs> y'all when y'all ready to see this, look, y'all see that? Oh my god. When y'all ready to see this, I got the work. Type ready. Smash the like button and type ready. I gotta make sure y'all really paying attention. Look. Bro, look at Fury's glove. 
This is it. And this was shot by Top Rank, if I'm not mistaken. This picture. Hold on. Bro, look at his glove, dog. This is before the fight. Man, man, what the hell is this? Bro, do y'all... Hold on. Y'all ain't feeling me for real. Hold on. I, I am not playing games with y'all. Listen. <laughs> I ain't playing games because I want it to be crispy because they, they say I Photoshop everything. All right. Photoshop these nuts. Photoshop these nuts. Come on, son. Oh, my God, bro. Did, bro, I Photoshop this too? They, they just going to say I Photoshop everything. Bro, look at the man's gloves. This is before the fight. This is before the fight, bro. Come on. Nah. And the WBC, they said I, I shouldn't have no cause for because, man, hell nah, bro. Whose gloves look like this, bro? This shit look like Aunt May from the fucking Spider-Man. This shit look like Judge Judy and shit. And I shouldn't have no reason to be suspicious. Bro, look at Why does his gloves look like the Golden Girls? Thank you for being a friend. Bro. Look at, why is this? Oh, y'all gonna send me some money. This shit look like the Golden Girls. This look like Blanche and them. Betty White. Tyson Fury, I bet he white. Because the way y'all defending him. Oh, my gosh. I say Golden Girls, Betty White. Tyson Fury, I bet he white. The way y'all defending him. Oh, my gosh, bro. Look at the goddamn glove, bro. This is his glove. Why does his shit look like the California Raisins? I heard it through the grapevine. I don't do. Bro, I heard it through the grapevine, California Raisin. Glove looking ass, bro. This look like, you ever y'all ever ate some dates? Them little dates? Bro, what the, what is this? This look like a date or some shit, man. Get this boy out of here, bro. And they're like, <laughs> JD's watch me. Bro, this looks like a sphincter. Do y'all know what a sphincter is? That's an anus, a butthole. This look like butthole pleasures, bro. What the fuck? And I'm tripping. Okay. Okay. Bro, his glove looks like a sphincter. Everybody type sphincter. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I know y'all don't know how to t type that. Bro, how you a, a a 108 million ESPN fighter, a multimillionaire fighter, right? You're a multimillionaire fighter in a big fight, not like some oh I'm fighting in Tijuana, building my reg record up. Bro, you're a multimillionaire fighter, and your gloves is looking like the fucking California raisins before you even fight in them, bro. How? I heard it through the grapevine. <laughs> I heard it through the grapevine. Glove looking ass, bro. You are old. What is this? Like, I don't even understand what, what I'm seeing. What is this? This look like a sphincter. That's what it is. That's, that's a sphincter. That looks like a cat. Uh, you ever see a cat's butt? That look like cat booty. That look like cat sphincter, bro. Fuck is you talking about, bro? This man got cat sphincter gloves on. Y'all, you know the cat lift the, the tail up. You see a little, little cat butt. <laughs> I hope nobody come in on this part. Yeah, cat sphincter glove. <laughs> <laughs> You got the cat sphincter glove. He said, you got the old lady titty, bro. That, she old. That's a Titanic. The one that told the Titanic story. Jack, never leave me. Near for wherever you are. Bro, get this Titanic titty the fuck. Oh, my gosh. Y'all y'all got me hot, right? Yeah, you know you got. You know you done fucked up, right? Bro, he got the cat sphincter glove. And he's talking about JD's was there. Uh, the commission was there. Bro, 
you need an iron, bro. He, he need a, you know, the little sunbeam irons that they had in the hotels and shit. You need to iron them gloves out, bro. Your glove does not. Come on, man. He need to iron that out. He, your gloves need some lotion. You need some Jergens, bro. Your gloves is ashy. <laughs> I like this young man because when he first came out, he went from gloves that look ashy to classy. A nigga never been as broke as me. I like that, bro. You went from ashy to classy looking ass with them gloves, bro. It, 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 that's a dead glove. You know, everyone keep talking about, oh, Marcellus Wilder said autopsy. Them gloves need a motherfucking autopsy. Them dead ass, wrinkled ass, Necronomicon ass gloves, bro. Man, stop playing with me. Get these Necronomicon gloves the fuck up out of here. Bro, send me all your money because the prodigal son has returned. He got the cat sphincter gloves. This shit look like a prune. You remember prune face from Dick Tracy? That's That looked like Fury Gloves. Fury Gloves got stretch marks. How your gloves got the stretch marks? Your gloves need lotion. Huh? Who glo When you seen Canelo and his joints was looking like nut sacks and shit? No, I'm talking about literal nut sacks. These nuts in your mouth. Like, these nuts. <laughs> Golly. Like, when do you see these nuts looking as gloves, bro? Bro, that looks like a ball sack. Nuts. Where did you get these scrotum ass gloves? Somebody going to explain it to me. Lucy, you got some explaining. Where did you get the scrotum gloves? That's all we want to know. I, listen, I'll drop it when the... When Mauricio Suleiman and the WBC tell me where you got these nutsack ass gloves at. <laughs> With these motherfucking nuts on your tonsil. Bro, you got the Snoop Dogg doggy style nutsack, nutsack on your tonsil glove. Where you get that, bro? I I'm so done. Send me all your money. It's over. I'm going to build a studio. I'm like Noah. I'm going to build me an ark. And old media again, park. Anytime it's dark, let's get it. I'm shooting darts. <sighs> Y'all got me hyped. Y'all got me. What did Beyonce say? Please don't get me hyped. Okay. Bro. If you don't jump to put jeans on, then you don't feel my pain. Bro. Y'all got me feeling like Beyonce. The male Beyonce, bro. You don't jump to put jeans on, then you don't feel my pain. <laughs> bro. Please don't get me hyped. Okay. Don't get me hyped. New media, it's over. Post George Floyd, we the motherfucking militia. We the mob. Digital mob. Okay. Bro, why free glove looking like a hacky sack? The money keep coming in. Man, get this. See, y'all laughing because you know this shit is true. I'm just putting it in a funny context. His It looks like a hacky sack. And, and he's like, oh, not unless J.D. is us in there and three commission guys. Fury always talk like a fucking pirate anyway. Don't he sound like a pirate? Or unless unless J.D. is in the Nevada State guys are in our yeah, best start believing and go, bro, what? Explain the gloves or walk the plank. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I want to know. I want you to explain the gloves or walk the plank. Arr. Unless JD's was in on me gloves. <laughs> that motherfucker sound like Hook and shit. Tyson Hook Fury looking at. Bro. Hook, what the fuck? Deontay Wilder, I'll come and swallow your whole. Like, what the fuck? Explain the glove. That's what I want to know. That's the only thing I want to know. Tell me about the fucking middle of your glove. How your guard... How, how the middle of your gloves get in a car wreck? Arr, don't worry about me gloves. They were approved by the commission. The matter state commission. Not, bro. <laughs> I don't care about none of that. Listen, oh me, I don't care about not none of that. N everybody, everybody in the chat say not none of that. I don't care about not none of that. If you don't got an explanation why the man gloves was in a car accident looking like CarMax, used car lot looking at his glove, then don't talk to me. Send me money, but don't talk to me. You can send money. I, t I accept money from anybody, but don't talk to me. Not none of that. Everybody type, not none of that. It's over. Everything starts from now, new media.
Yeah, not none of that. I don't want to hear, oh, autopsy. Yeah, not none of that. I don't care about autopsy. I don't care about none of that. Unless you're going to tell me why there's a dent in his glove and why his shit is looking like the Golden Girls. That's it. That's the only thing you can reply to. The Golden Girl glove right here. These Betty White gloves. These cougar looking, saber tooth tiger looking gloves that you got from the Mesozo <laughs> Mesozoic era. You know, these Jurassic era. Bro, these are some real. These are the Moses 13 retros. These look like Moses parted the Red Sea with these fucking gloves on. Fuck you talking about, bro. Stop playing with me, bro. It's over. I told you. I wanted to not show you. This look like Moses had these gloves on and he parted the Red Sea. Oh, let that be. Oh. <laughs> and the water just dissipated and it created a path because he parted the Red Sea with these old ass fucking Passion of Christ gloves, bro. And the WBC said, I shouldn't be mad. I shouldn't be looking. Imagine, bro, it, listen, if you went to my um, elementary school or middle school and you wore those, your shoes look like that, you getting roasted. I'm from the Bay, bro. Bro, you would get roasted. If, if you went and your shits was barking like that, you would get roasted at my school. I promise you that. You would get roasted. If, you're, if you ever think to come, it don't matter if your family was poor. That's even worse. But if you come to school and you don't put some Windex on this motherfucking and your shoe look like that, you getting roasted. I dare Tyson Fury to wear shoes or gloves like that at my school. He would have got roasted. You can't come to school looking like that. They were like, damn, your family's so poor. <laughs> Y'all got to share a cheeseburger to eat. Like, bro, you would get roasted. I promise you. Arr, it's <laughs> it, it, it <made> <laughs> Stop. Y'all got to stop, bro. <laughs> I didn't even have nothing to say. I just wanted to do the pirate shit. <laughs> Y'all true. Bro, this is commission approved with stretch marks. Bro, I know Tyson Fury. This looked like Tyson Fury when he was like 400 pounds. Like he bought this size. And then as he dropped the weight, the gloves dropped weight too. This is what that looks like. You know, you watch The Biggest Loser. Where the dude be like four or five hundred pounds, and then he start getting on the show and losing weight, and he get down to the final week, and now he weigh one eighty, but his titties long than a bitch because he still got that loose skin. But you know what I'm saying? Because you was big, so you, your skin loses the elasticity that it normally would have, so you still got titties and shit. You got t nah, I'm not pausing that. You got titties, it's cool. You got the sag bags. I'm not pausing nothing, bro. I'm not pausing it. There's males that lose the weight and they got titties. You know, it's just what it is. How am I? How are you going to get mad at me for that? Dudes be having titties because they lost so much weight and they, they skin is flimsy. So it just look wild crazy. You know what I'm saying? It look like your stomach frowning and shit by your belly button because you just got the extra skin. So it just look like like you uncircumcised all over. Like your whole body is all uncircumcised. You know what I'm saying? That's what it looks like. It looks like one of those people that in the fitness now, but then they lost hella weight, but the skin still look crazy. Bro, Tyson Fury gloves had gastric bypass surgery. Like what? Bro, his gloves got stretch marks. I'm done. Like, <laughs> you know when a girl got a little stretch marks on the thigh and shit, and it should be kind of sexy. That's not sexy because this is boxing where you can hurt somebody. Bro, look at the saggy titty gloves, bro. This shit look like a speed bag from 1902 and shit. I, I once went 12 rounds with John L. Sullivan himself. <laughs> bro, get these Great Depression gloves the fuck out of my face, bro. Bro, he got gloves from Of Mice and Men and shit. This is, get these Great Depression gloves out of here, bro. Them motherfucking Pearl Harbor gloves. and The first gloves ever made looking at it, bro. Y'all better smash a like button. I'm 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 just so done. I'm so done that the gloves even look like this, bro. And this was a picture I'm pretty sure by top rank. This is a top rank. And their gloves looking like fucking Joe Exotic's tiger stripes on it. Man, what? I'm so done. I'm so I'm so done. Yeah, this is Walt Disney's first pair of gloves looking at. But where what year did you get this? Like, just, let's just, let's just, we'll start there. What year did you get these gloves? You you can't, you did not just get them for the fight. This is the Path and Sports quality 
to look like a cat butthole? Like, come on, bro. Come on. This looks like a cat's butthole. <laughs> I, I don't even know what else to compare it to. I just keep thinking cat butthole. Not like that. Like, I'm obsessed with cats and shit. No, let's just stop because that sounds kind of crazy. No, nah, I'm going to keep saying it. it looked like a cat butthole, though. Yeah, man, send me more money. Fuck y'all. Bro, his gloves look too crazy. <laughs> These look too crazy. I got an announcement after this. He said the gloves after liposuction. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm Just, you guys, listen, I'm going to spend some time. I love y'all. Just tell me what his gloves look like in the comment section. Let's hear it. I, I'm just going to read a couple. I know Phenomenal Mexican got something out of pocket to say because these gloves look like fucking prunes. Lou Gossett Jr. Dogstown gloves. See, I'm done. That's what I'm saying. Like these old ass gloves, bro. <laughs> Jack Johnson's old gloves. <laughs> that, that, you, okay, you guys. Y'all funny as shit. Then y'all feel me then. Gloves look like balled up paper bags. <laughs> bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, you just got a bottle from the liquor store. And you drinking the drink out the bottom. Like, why they look like this? Like paper mache. <laughs> yeah. I can't. Bro, get these fucking tails from the crib ass glove. Doom, 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 these tales from the tonight's tales from the crib. <laughs> Get these tales from the crib. As <laughs> Get these tales from the crib, bro. Get these tales from the crips out of here. These tales from the hood as gloves and shit. Oh, yes. That shit. You know me? Knee deep in that shit. Don't worry. Y'all get the shit. These old tails from the hood as tails from the crip gloves, bro. I'm done. I'm done. These are the gypsy gloves. You ran over these with the gypsy wagon or something. You ran over these on the Oregon Trail. These Wolfenstein ass fucking gloves. This look like Van Helsing's gloves or some shit. Motherfucking Marty McFly came back to the future and brought you these shits. Yeah. The Marx Brothers gloves and shit. Charlie Chaplin, silent movie looking at a glove. Come on, put them up. Put them up. Man, he got the cat butthole gloves. I'm I'm done. Should <laughs> hey Chaz Bay, don't do me like that. He says shit looks like a balloon knot. You feel me? That's actually a good one. That's actually a legit one. 50 year old titty gloves that's what man get the i'm done i love y'all but I, I can't even see that so i mauricio suleiman said i shouldn't be concerned <laughs> but his glove look like paper mache <laughs> yeah. his glove look like paper mache bro this look like a kid's class project looking at his glove you know you know when the kids at that weird age where they're not actually creative they're they're kind of stupid and shit because they haven't reached that age where they can, like, think for long term and shit. You know what I'm saying? They at that stupid age. I was at it. Don't don't, don't look at me like that. You know when the kid's at that stupid age where they're pretty much worthless? This look like a kid class project glove. You know, because I used to bring my dad goofy shit. Hey, dad, it's a toolbox. And then the toolbox, like, he got expensive ass tools and impact guns and wrenches. He ain't finna use this fucking race derby wooden pine toolbox that i made him with a fucking rope like my dad is not tarzan or macgyver like he going he'll get roasted you know going to his job mechanic job with this fucking weak ass <laughs> toolbox i made him you, do you understand what i'm talking about kids be bringing them stupid with the hands like little turkey with the little hand prints stupid shit he's like oh that's nice that's that's real nice yeah put it on the, put it on the fridge Put that shit on the fridge. That's nice. You be like, they leave to put it on the fridge. Ugly ass shit. I should have pulled out. Should have pulled out at this motherfucker. 
Bro, that's what these look like. It looks like a cl- kid, third grade class project before you get any level of skill. <laughs> hey, Path and Sport gloves, if this is the quality. <laughs> Someone said it looked like a croissant. <laughs> it's croissant. Ho, ho, wee, wee. Tyson Fury. I got these Fury gloves. Bro, yeah. Get these gambit ass French <laughs> crepe croissant gloves out of my face, bro. Hey, mon ami. Ho, ho, wee, wee. Tyson. Tyson Fury. It's the Fury. Fucking Van Damme Belgian ass gloves, man. This look like Van Damme in the Quest. Get these Quest ass gloves at. Get them out of my face. It do look like a croissant though. I'm kind of hungry, low key. I'm done. And the WBC said I'm stupid. Okay, bet that up. We gonna see who's stupid this year. I promise you that. Cause old media taking, taking L's. Bro, this look like somebody's fucking tonsils with tonsillitis or something. This look too crazy. This look too crazy. This shit look like a thumb under a microscope. You know when you pull the microscope in too close and you see too much detail? Man, get this shit off my screen. I'm sick of this shit. The money keep coming in. JD is in there watching this. Yeah, but I don't know. I'm not going to say nothing about that. All I know is them gloves look ridiculous. Those gloves really look ridiculous. Like, how your gloves need lotion? Name a Canelo fight where his gloves look like that. Canelo wears horse hair. Canelo wears horse hair. When does his glove look ashy like it need lotion? Bro, his gloves look like they from the colonial times. Like your gloves got the bubonic plague and shit. <laughs> like this, this, this look like the black plague ass gloves, like the bubonic plague. Like, you know, back in the day, back in the day when they had pl- plagues that would last for 800 years and shit. Remember when they had them diseases and they, it would just wipe out people for like hundreds of centuries. That It looked like you got your, your, your gloves from the Crusades, the Seven Years War and shit. How is this even possible? These gloves look like you was sa- like you was saving Private Ryan. Like you had these gloves on Normandy. Like you was personally saving Private Ryan with these fucking gloves on. Somebody said it looked like trimmers. I'm so done, bro. That movie slap. The first one is a slapper. Bro got a gardening glove. And, and this is not even an ego picture. I believe Top Rank put this picture out. Bro, his glove looked like beef jerky. This was before the fight. His shit looked like beef jerky. And and when it's molding and all this shit, how's your glove dehydrated and shit? Like it needed IV drip. Explain that. Motherfucker got the Chia Pet glove. You put a little water on it and it turned into a regular glove. Man, get him out of here, bro. Ch-ch-ch-chia! Chia. <laughs> Get these Chia Pet glove ass. Man, what? So, Mauricio Suleiman, I can't wait for part two. WBC, we on you. I gotta bake another one. Yoda Scrotum. You out of pocket, bro. Who who said Which one of y'all kicked me? Somebody said it looked like Yoda Scrotum. I'm done. I'm so done. Gloves foul you or not? Uh, yeah, these Yoda scrotum ass gloves. Cheat me no cheat. <laughs> where, where you get the gloves? Indiana Jones found them. That motherfucker got them gloves from the Temple of Doom. <laughs> I, I I can't. I can't. I, I I just cannot. I cannot deal with these gloves right now. Bruh, these gloves look like they shot Lincoln in, in the fucking theater. 
these John Wilkes Booth ass gloves, man. Man, get him out of here, bro. <laughs> he shot Lincoln with these gloves, bro, and chopped down a cherry tree with these gloves. And I and Mauricio Suleiman telling me, oh no. Don't trip. Don't even trip. You, you, you didn't see it. You're an idiot if you think you see it. What? The motherfucking gloves got lupus and shit. Like, how is this a multi-million dollar fight? They, they, they might mess around to get a, a class action settlement. Because people are going to be like, man, I pay $80 for this. And your gloves looking like a nutsack and shit. I want my motherfucking money back. <laughs> they might, you might have some people like that. Cause didn't they do that with Pacquiao? When Pacquiao came out with the shoulder shit, he was, uh, I, I, I want to uh, apologize. My, my shoulder was. Remember? People might get mad. Like, damn, what, what the fuck did I pay for, motherfucker? Cause they got mad at Pacquiao when he when he did that. Remember, Pacquiao he tried to say his shoulder and shit. I want to. I I believe my my fight with my fight with Floyd. Do, 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 do. Mauricio Suleiman acting like Trump. Don't believe your eyes. Facts. Shout out to my man Ari, Jose in the building. Uh, I I want to see Tyson. Fury, his, his glove he hit uh, Wilder with uh, that make um, Wilder his ear bleed. His ear is bleeding because of Tyson Fury. His, his glove look like um, yeah 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 um, Razon. Bro, his glove look like Razon. What the fuck are you telling me? Like I don't just watch boxing fucking all my life. And his shit looked like the California raisins. And that's not a reason for... Uh, I just want to... Uh, yeah, I want to let uh, that people know that Tyson Fury, his gloves um, look like dates. They look like that date. They um, are... They need lotion. Um, Jergens. Jaganov with Jergens. Or Curel. His, 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 his glove, it, it look... Like the nutsack. Uh, yeah, it looked like this big sack, big nutsack. Exact like nutsack. Hey, bro, this shit, get him out of here, bro. I'm so done. The, that glove. Uh, <laughs> Y'all got to stop, bro. Uh, I, I feel um, Tyson, he, he with ESPN and his glove look like <laughs> nutsack. <laughs> Bro, his glove look like a nut. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the top dog of them all? There was a ruffle duffle. Five minutes it lasted. She said, you are. You can see that. Well, that's true. These nuts in your mouth. Bro, he got these nutsack ass gloves. I can't. I can't do. Anyway, let's get the likes up. Uh, I want to see if uh, we get that likes. Uh, uh, raise the roof. Bro, raise raise it. Raise the roof, bro. They not messing with me. I got... I got <laughs> Listen, you see the $100 is still there. I don't know how long I've been... Bro, We I make the most money. These Super Chats is killing. I got the livest live stream. I done the livest... Ga I don't be doing the livest gates, bro. Look at the money... Bro, the money keep coming in and we talking about <laughs> I'm done. This man said his gloves got eczema. Eczema? Remember what you got? Eczema? <laughs> you ever see that commercial? <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm I'm tweaking for that, but I don't know if y'all ever seen that commercial. He's like, "What's that? You got eczema?" <laughs> oh my god, he do his gloves really got eczema. Motherfucking psoriasis as a glove, bro. Bro, what? How your glove get eczema? How? <laughs> you better bathe in some Epsom salt and 
collodial oatmeal bath and shit. Man, what? He said it looked like Brussels sprout ass glove. Yeah, I, I just don't understand why. <laughs> like you put them in. You ever put something in the microwave too long or whatever? Why it looked like that? You overcook some shit and it be looking like that. <laughs> that shit look like your gloves was survived an earthquake or something. Like, why does it have fault lines and cracks and shit? And, and Suleiman and old media trying to tell me, okay, ego don't know what he talking about. Okay, we going to see. We going to see creme de la creme. El Capitan. I'm a gorilla. I'm a dog. I'm a dog. I'm a gorilla. We going to see who's the thriller in Manila. Appreciate you guys. The money keep coming in. Shout out to Phenomenal Mexican. He probably said something out of pocket. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. It's probably something hella crazy. Um, I, we we going to see. Like, my thing is this. If it was so easy, why? Okay. Listen to this. They said ego photos that when I did that video, they said I photoshopped that photo. Remember? They said, oh, ego, you're a fucking lie. You photoshopped it. That's what they said. They being old media. They say that this was a falsehood in a picture. I got a special announcement. Stay tuned. They just li hear me out. Listen, smash the like button. I'm a gorilla. I'm a dog. I'm a dog. I'm a gorilla. Listen. Stay with me. Breathe. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you got to let it breathe, though, huh? Yeah. We need to get to 450 likes. Yeah. Yeah. Get the stream to 450 likes, huh? Oh, you don't want to get the stream to 450 likes, huh? You want to see it plateau right there, huh? Yeah, okay. And all of a sudden, you don't want to see this stream, huh? <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay. Y'all ain't going to give me the 50, 450 likes, huh? Why that glove trap hard as hell? Facts. My face hurt like a motherfucker because you know them fucking prune face ass gloves don't look adequate. Oh fucking Bob Aram skin print glove looking at. I told you, Lomachenko is the next Muhammad Ali, Terrence Crawford, bro. What you motherfucking Aram ass glove, man? What man? Stop playing with me, dog. You motherfucking gloves look like grumpy old men and shit. Remember that movie? Walter Matthau. <laughs> Too much sun looking at a glove, bro. Too much sun out looking at a glove, bro. Get to 450 likes. I ain't playing. Listen. Do me a favor. I'm going to end the stream right now. Listen. Special. I got the special announcement. You've waited this long. Push us past 450. We only need like eight likes. Eight likes. And we at 450. And I'm going to do the special announcement. I really want to get to 475. But y'all been great. And the money's been live. Because we live on the five. So at least get to 450. But 450 to 475. I think that's fair. And I got the special announcement. Remember, I said stay tuned to the end, but wait, there's more. Old media, they not built for this, you know. Man, bro, Tyson Fury's gloves look fucked up. Just look at that. These motherfucking gloves look like the president mask from Point Break. Just give Tyler back, buddy. The ride is over, buddy. Bro, these look like the president mask. Remember the Point Break? That's one of my favorite movies. Patrick Swayze, rest in peace. Keanu Reeves. Remember when they had the presidential mask they were robbing the banks? That looks like these gloves. The ride is over, buddy. Just give Tyler back. You got what you wanted. What am I going to do? Paddle to New Zealand? He's not coming back. Bro, these point break 
president what what would the surfer game what didn't they have a name the president this that's what it looks like when they had the reagan mask and shit put the money in the bag i am not a crook bro get these i am not a crook ass gl- point break mess that's the blood leaving your body Bodie. you're gonna die soon I hope it was worth it. That's your body getting cold, Roach. You don't remember that? Oh, my God. That's one of my movies. All you young Thundercat whippersnappers. (sighs) Man, get these gloves off my screen. He said, I remember that movie with Lori Petty. Facts. Tank girl looking at. (laughs) All right. Special announcement time. The ride is over, buddy. Sorry, I like that movie. Um, Utah, two meatball sandwiches, two. <laughs> yeah, Gary Busey glove. Look at that, bro. All right, y'all stayed long enough for this special announcement. I got a, I got a, I got a Glove Gate 2.0, a brand new picture, and it's pretty. It's so pretty. The video, I know, listen, I know I fucked up. Last time I said, I said the video wasn't going to be out. You know, I said, oh, stay tuned to the end of the stream and I'm going to put it. But this time is different because the video's already up. I just got to actually publish it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish it. Right now it's 8.57. I'm going to get off here. I'm going to post it on my page in one hour. Right now, for me, three minutes to nine. <clears throat> I got a brand new video. They can take our old stuff, the first picture, and try to block it and put it on private. But I got a brand new one. And wait till you see it. You can't block this. I don't use anybody's content. I don't use anybody's copyrighted. You can't block this. It's a brand new angle, and the gloves look so crazy. The video will debut in one hour. I'm going to premiere it in one hour on my channel. Be here or be square. And please enjoy the video. If I'm tripping, which I know I'm not, just leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Basically, when you see the picture of the glove, let me know what it looks like to you. Just describe it. Just I want a description how we just went through the prune, the prune gloves. Tell me what you think this does. I want to show you all the picture so bad, but I'm not going to. The video will be up on my page in one hour. A brand new Glove Gate. <clears throat> Glove Gate 2.0. That's why I told you. This is going to be an avalanche. This ain't just one thing. We've been looking at this for months, huh? So they can take the other one. Are you going to block every picture that we find? You're going to block video footage? You're going to block everyone that has it in their phone? It's not how it works. New media, digital mob. Here, look. I, I I can't show y'all. Look, hold on. I can't show y'all. I, Cause I gotta make sure y'all come back for the for the video. But I'm I'm a, I'm gonna show y'all a teaser. I'm gonna show y'all a teaser. I'm gonna show y'all a teaser. That's what the streets want. I'm gonna show y'all a teaser. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna show y'all a teaser. Hold on. <clears throat> the video will be up in one hour. It's all, I already have it done. It's it's good. It's not like last time. I'm gonna show the I'm gonna show the fans the teaser. <clears throat> nah, it's a teaser, teaser. So you won't be able to see. You gotta come back. Ain't nobody talked about this. Per usual, groundbreaking stuff. I told you. Oh yeah, this will be on a lot. Like the premiere is like a live stream. We, I'm putting in real life work, real life detective work. So you can't in those premieres, you can still send a super chat. So if you want, if you appreciate the work with new media and the stuff I'm putting out and what we're doing, you know, you can definitely support in that way. But it, <laughs> I can't wait to see what they say to explain this because I got another angle, another vantage point. I told you this is real life detective work. But again, you can leave super chats and donations during the premiere. And, you know, we always set the trend, so I can't wait to see what y'all got to say next. 
Teaser coming soon. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. What's beneath this? What's in the box? Wait till you see this picture. Wait till you see this glove gate. What's beneath it? What is underneath? Oh, my God. Video will be up in one hour's time. What's in the box? I can't wait till you see this video. Tyson Fury, glove gate 2.0. They can block whatever... Uh, the photographer gallery this ain't even his stuff this is so they said i photo just hear me out they said i photoshopped the first thing this ain't even related to his gallery of photos so would i photoshop this too listen old media is getting crucified just send your super chats you in good hands like all state are you in good hands Listen and tell me if this makes sense. Old media said I they, because the we got this the ball rolling and people seen it and were disgusted and needed answers. So they said I photoshopped it. Ask yourself this. If I if what they said was true and I photoshopped the first photo where it looked like his fist is in a latex glove. If I did that, then why do they have to private the gallery? It's not real. You old media said the picture was not real. And it was a Photoshop. So why is the guy's gallery now suddenly blocked when it hasn't been blocked since February? This guy's an idiot. Block him. You ain't even seen the picture. Block him. They scared. This is nervous energy. You guys are seeing it right here. But I know y'all ain't going to let them hate on me. When they hate, donate. When they hate, donate. I love the fear. I smell fear from old media. Hey, guys, I'm crying like a bitch. We working the black channel. That's what's up. Block him. Who next? Go, go. Who's next? Go. That's two people. Y'all owe me some money. When they hate, donate. But listen, I'm going to tell you again. Glovegate 2.0, it ain't over. WBC, they can say their piece. Frank Warren, they can say their piece. We the streets. We control boxing. We put money into this boxing. We the militia. Like, we're the ones that funnel the game. Watch, don't watch, you know. New media, we control the narrative. They said I photoshopped the first picture. Wait till you see this next video, right? Well, you can't just say everything's a Photoshop, right? But even using their logic, old me, I, I, I'm playing devil's advocate. Using their own logic, they said I photoshopped. Why is the guy's, his gallery, why is it privated? Why, if if I photoshopped the first picture and it wasn't incriminating, it didn't make Fury look bad, it wasn't unexplainable, then why is his gallery now private? Ask yourself that. If it wasn't a real picture to begin with, then why is the guy's photo gallery suddenly private? Suddenly private. <clears throat> If it wasn't a real picture and it was a Photoshop, like old media is saying, then why is the guy's gallery private? It, it, it's nothing to private because there's nothing real. But we know what it is. The video will be up at 10 o'clock. It's 9.04. Peace, peace, peace out. You can leave super chats in that video if you like what we're doing over here. We're just bringing the integrity back to the game. That's it. But I, 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 I'm so serious with what I'm saying. I'm so serious. I'm working hard for, for the game. I, I just want to see boxing on a fair. How you? How could anyone even get mad at me, unless you're trying to do the opposite? Unless you're trying to do the opposite. Unless you want to see boxing with some cheating, scamming ass shit. How could you even get mad? Because we want clarity. Because we want a fair sport. Again, when it's Gerald Miller, there everyone throws the book at him, lifetime ban. But now no one wants to look into Tyson Fury. Okay, I got you. It's over, bro. That's three people that is that is disrespecting. Y'all owe me some money in the next stream. I'm getting out of here. But you guys can send the super chats and the donations to the other video, Glovegate 2.0. It ain't over. Appreciate you guys for checking me out. It's lit is lit they say everything's a photoshop that's their only defense digital mob video will be out at 10 p.m 
Actually, I'm going to do it at 10.05. It's 9.05 right now when I'm getting off. It'll be up at 10.05, a live premiere. You can send your donations, send your super chats. We're just working. It just, we. I, I told you, I'm going to build a studio. Fuck it. I'm going to build a studio. And let me know what you guys think in that video. So, 